So, interesting thing. I think yesterday, most of us, or a lot of us, participated in an IoT experiment. IoT-ish, I would say, is our election system, right? The, the elections that went on is a big analytic event, right? They're collecting data from these voting machines. They're taking them in. They're reasoning them over them. They're making predictions. So that's very IoT-ish, right? So it's an interesting to think about. As we talk about Data V, you'll notice that a lot of those components are in the Data V solution. So just want to walk through a little bit of it. First, a little bit about B-Square. So we uh, are a market leader in smart connected device software. Um, been around public company for 20 years. Uh, we have a lot of core competency in different OSs and different customers. Here's kind of our NASCAR slide of, of folks we've worked with. So we have a lot of competency in a lot of different areas. Let's go ahead and talk about Data V. So Data V is our platform for IoT, and it really consists of three basic components. There's the platform, the, 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 the product piece of it. There's the tools, which are the tools you use to configure and, and, and program the system. And then we also offer an, a number of services in the form of pro professional services and consulting to help you build out some of these IoT capabilities if you don't already have them. We use a workflow model to determine how you get data from your sensors into the enterprise. And we think there's five blocks here that you need to uh, build out to. And Data V supplies components for each of these blocks. So the idea is you need to acquire the data from the sensor. You then have to interpret it. You have to make sense of it. This is a, a temperature from a room. This is RPMs from an engine, um, whatever it may be. So it's semantic sense to that data. Once you know that, you have to perform, perform some analytics. That's the analy uh, analyz analyzation phase. So how do you make sense of patterns, correlations, those kind of things? Once you understand that, you can now act upon it. I mean, it could be simple as sending an email off, or it could be as, as complicated as starting a whole new another workflow. And the last piece of the puzzle is you need to share that information that you've captured with your enterprise system. So important thing to remember about Data V, it's an ingredient into, some, in, into your solution. So we're the pieces at the bottom where we capture the information and then we extend into the middle pieces. But it's your application, your core competency that we, we're trying to drive. So what are these major components? So this is a kind of a block diagram of the piece parts of Data V. And I'm going to go through each one of these kind of quickly. So at the, uh, at the very bottom, we have the sensor integration. So this is the piece that's concerned with capturing data at the sensors. Um, we run on a number of different platforms. We run all the way down from MCU, microcontroller type uh, devices, all the way up to full Linux boxes and Windows machines. So we, we run the gamut. Um, and we provide a number of sensor interfaces to that. This is a big part of it, is our de uh, device, our data intelligence platform. This is the piece that we allow that distributed processing down to the edge. So there are some operations that are best performed in the cloud, but sometimes it's better to get that processing down as close to the edge as possible. We provide that capability. And I'll show you the tool a little bit that does that. But it allows us to make these sensors a lot smarter than they really are. Uh, this is the reasoning engine. So this is a part of the process, our, our, our product, that allows you to actually make sense of that data, make some really smart decisions. And again, I'll show you how that's kind of configured. This is very much targeted for line of business managers. Not, it's not an R&D effort. This is really something that the guys that understand the problem, problem domain can actually type in their stuff. It's graphical, so it's very easy to type in. And now that we've got all this insightful data, the last piece of the puzzle, uh, second to the last piece of the puzzle is how do we share that information with the enterprise? Really, until you get that data into the enterprise and those events, it, it's not as valuable. And what ties all of this together is our communications fabric. So we fully understand that not one network works for everybody, so we built a fabric that lay, lays on top of wireless, Wi-Fi, cell, Zigbee, Bluetooth. We, have, we, we support all of those, and we make it really easy for you to, to use. So if we drop back a bit, here's the big picture of it, is you have your sensors and devices at the bottom. Data V kind of is in the middle towards the bottom. You have external systems that we integrate with. Um, we have your apps that you've built on top of this. What comes up from the devices are sense, uh, is, is information. What goes down is command and control. So we try to uh, loop the whole thing here. Here's an example of an application that you would write that actually lives at the device or in the cloud. We have a very flexible deployment model. So the idea is if you want to run this, this code 
on the device. When you click the button, you just say, where do you want to deploy? It'll say device, or you can say the cloud. In this particular example, this is an HVAC unit, uh, an AC uh, air conditioner, and it's a smart air conditioner. It basically knows about occupancy because it has an occupancy sensor. It can check the outside temperature, and if it's colder than it is inside, it can actually vent air on the inside. So this is a flow. And you don't have to be a technologist to understand this. This is really easy to do. Again, it's targeted for those line of business managers to drag out. So you can, uh, this program then gets compiled through data V and runs on the device. This same diagram can also be used in a text-based format. Again, this is our rule engine. Uh, this is very easy to read. It's an if, then else kind of thing. But it, it's very important that we actually use what's called domain-specific language. So your customers define the nouns and verbs, and then that the tool uses those words. We didn't make those up. So the word is not part of data, uh, I'm sorry, room is not part of data V, but using our technology, you can actually use that in the rule, rule author. So if you look at this, it reads very, very clearly. You have a room, it's occupied, it's cold outside, and the temperature above the set point. If that's the case, if those conditions are met, then do this. Open the outside vent, turn on the fan. Um, one of the things with IoT applications and still to, uh, to today is one of the biggest outputs is a report. So we have built-in report writing capability within DataV. So you can build these reports. They're very rich, context-driven, um, configurable by the user. And this is an example of a report. We are a model-driven architecture, so the idea is you model what you're interested in and you layer that on top of your physical devices. And then the magic of data V, that connector piece in the middle, um, makes that model available remotely. So you talk to the model in the cloud or on your premise as though you're talking to the physical device, but you're not. You're talking to a proxy. So this allows you to do remote access. It allows you to scale the solution. And it gives you one single interface to program to your devices. That connector in the middle is what we call the message bus. And it's a, it's a pretty powerful concept in the sense that what happens is you plug in your physical hardware onto that bus. We have an SDK that you can program to, um, or we could do that. In addition to hardware, you can also program or connect up software systems. What are, what are the functions of this bus? First one is routing. So we can connect devices. Anybody's on the bus can connect up and move, uh, to communicate back and forth. We can handle quality of service. Not all data that you're going to capture is the same. So you want to make sure to understand what that data is and treat it appropriately. So the bus will treat certain data points better than others. Transformation is a big por point, uh, part of the product, is that you may have two devices that speak different languages or different protocols. The message bus rationalizes that and mitigates that. So again, it's built into the product. So it makes it really easy to have it.